Come here. Come on. I've got one thing to say to you. F Boy Island Australia season one, episode three. Think about that for a second. Did I forget about this series? Yes. Has it been four months? ish five months since the last episode yes have you all been asking for it yes here we are <laughs> don't say i never do anything for you welcome back everyone to the low budget shit show this is a 40 minute episode so i just want to get stuck straight into it but as usual i will delay <laughs> but first i would like to say a huge thank you to all of my upper tier patrons aka the most worthy patrons that's what we all came up with because my last name is worth my patrons are the only reason the lights are on the only reason i can make these videos the reason this channel exists i just uploaded a lesbian reacts to tiktoks yeah i guess that's still true a lesbian tiktok thirst trap a lesbian this never gets easier a lesbian thirst traps on tiktok why is this not working i uploaded a video to patreon <laughs> holy shit reacting to lesbian thirst trap tiktoks please become a patron i might need health insurance that sounded like a stroke so that bonus content just went up if that interests you at all if you couldn't even understand anything that i'm saying all right let's jump into this episode because lord knows if i'll be able to speak <laughs> in the next five minutes now because it's been so long i don't remember where we were up to what's going on <laughs> does anyone know what's going on in general oh okay so limbro i remember limbro who's in it Oh, that dude, what's his name? Limbro ain't big enough for the two of us. Uh, this is my side, and that's your side. That's cool, bro. Your side sucks. Smells like fucking sardines. Thanks, mate. <laughs> what? What was that interaction? Honestly, I would love to go camping in Limbro. Nah. I've got a story for you. Oh, oh my god. Oh, that's yeah. right. I'm dating yeah. this dude in the house. Oh. He was the one dibby dobbing on the dude that's clearly an F boy. It's all coming back to me. Last night was like a dream come true. Sniff the dog an hour. <laughs> right, so Mitch was warning the girls from memory. He was warning the girls, and he got kicked out for some reason. But I could give a bit of intel to the girls, let's be honest. Especially to Sophie about Justin. He don't even like her, for starters. Because he was telling us he don't like none of them girls. He did say that. No one's catching my eye right now. Yeah? Yeah. What's he really here for? That's what I want to know. Okay, so Nico is going to stir the pot, which I love for Nico. Well, actually, I hate that for Nico because if... It, it, he's gonna get kicked out for it, obviously. That seems to be how this show goes. Caleb or Corey or whoever is still an F-boy. Why is he still here? Today, we're having a three-way. Group day. Yeah. Love the Kmart beanbags. Come on, dude. I got it. <laughs> Why is that dude still here? The, the content creator guy. Wasn't he pretty obviously... A shithead. Okay, so they're on a little date for all of the guys that haven't really had any attention paid to them recently. How nice is this? Uh, this feels like I'm dreaming. He just rubs me the wrong way. Yeah. Our heart is pure. This is my first date. Was well, he alright? Because I was on a hot seat for some. It's just when someone tries so hard to sell that image to you, are you not sus immediately? No. Get to know her, see what she like, what she don't like, and just maximize off of all that stuff. You have a great energy. Thank you. You're lovely. It takes a lot. Lovely. Wow, when you first walked in, I was like, damn, that's the one. You're very patient. Like, I. My mom always taught me that slow burn. It's oh my god. <laughs> It's so painfully obvious. There's no way the producers are not keeping him in just to like, just to piss people off and keep them hooked because every five minutes, the dude's talking about his mom, talking about his sisters, like clearly just being like, oh, I'm a good guy. I'm this, I'm that. It couldn't be more obvious. Caleb is being quite vulnerable with me. Ciara, babe. Which is a side of him I haven't seen before. And I'm really into it. Ziara. <laughs> From memory, she's quite young. We give her grace for that. But Ziara. I want to know your favorite food. I love chicken burgers, like literally anything deep fried. Okay, yeah. What kind of response was that? Okay, while they're on this like cute little beach date scene, I do think something needs to be pointed out. As you know from previous episodes, this f-boy island series was filmed here where i live and let me tell you they seem like they've got a hot little like beach glow going on but they are dying <laughs> this is a sweaty operation and i feel for them that they're out in the middle of the day in direct sunlight on camera i also feel very bad that they probably didn't have wild deodorant to keep them smelling like 
maybe fresh cotton and sea salt all day. <laughs> I've obviously partnered with Wild on this video and I am genuinely obsessed. It's a sustainable and natural deodorant that actually works. They're powered by plants. There's no aluminium salts, no parabens, no sulfates. All their formulas are vegan and cruelty free. Their body wash and their deodorants contain no single use plastic. This is reusable bit of ASMR. And the refills are also compostable. They're made from bamboo. Let me show you how easy it is to swap out and change the refills. I've been using this deodorant for about a month now and it has been hot as hell on the Gold Coast. You walk outside, you're already sweating. Not all deodorants can hack it here, but these absolutely do. I had a full really hot day at the beach. We were swimming, we were running around and it lasted all day. But God, if they can work here, they can work anywhere. And as the name suggests, Wild wants to keep the planet wild. So every time you buy from them, they plant a tree thanks to their partnership with On A Mission. There's a ton of different scents you can choose from. If you can't decide, my favorite so far is the fresh cotton and sea salt and the cherry blossom. The cherry blossom is good, but I saved the body wash demo so I could do it in front of you. This is your reusable body wash dispenser. Remove the pump, unscrew this thing, put this in, take the lid off of the refill, put this guy back on. I'm actually obsessed with this. Put the pump back in and you're done. What? And then when you run out, you just change the refill. How good is this? I love this company. Obviously I've got a discount for you. Don't pay full price. Use my code Brienne for 20% off all of their products. There'll be a link also in the description. And thanks once again to Wild for partnering with me on this video. I think I, I definitely kind of judged you from a bar of soap, but the more I get to know you, really, Ju I like hanging out with you. Like judged you from a bar of soap. Judged you from a bar of soap. It's I don't know you from a bar of soap. I know I'm just being pedantic, but now I'm like, am I, have I been saying it wrong my entire life? Is it I don't know you from a bar of soap? Doesn't matter. Spending time with yeah, you. I like likewise. Did you want to? <laughs> <laughs> I like likewise. Cook Island. That forty turtles live in there. <laughs> Some fun facts. A lot of people said that I was kind of like a mama's boy growing up as a kid. Just they're reading out of the same handbook. Like what? And it's working. That's the shocking thing. I love mama's boy oh, to really? an extent. Yeah, like yeah. I like Clay. So... He's fun and he's always smiling. And I love that energy about him. So sees the best in people and that's a good thing. It's a bad thing for this show in particular, but it's a beautiful quality to have generally. You're so polite and well-mannered and it's so important. I think that's probably like partly to do with probably your mum, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I honestly believe in being as gentleman as possible. Yeah. As gentleman as possible. Like opening the car door and all that stuff. That's sweet. Yeah. Play has a sensitive side that I didn't know would come out of <sighs> This is, oh, I just, <laughs> this is just, I don't know how this is happening. I know they're on a show and you kind of do have to like sell yourself. Like I like this and I like this. And is this how straight people date and they just sit there and they're like, this is my resume. This is my skills. I open doors. I have a mother. What is this? And then by saying those things, the girl interprets it as being vulnerable when he said nothing. <laughs> like he's, he said absolutely nothing of substance. What is going on? Clay has a sensitive side that I didn't know would come out this early on. I think it's really sweet that he has decided to open up and show me that. Show you what? There has to be something cut here because that like show you what what did he show you what, what did he open up about i wouldn't say i'm a standout favorite amongst the other guys here on the island okay so he's self-aware in what i can to get to know sophie okay it's always the phallic shaped food do you want a taco young and hot i'll grab some sauce james gives me immediately gives me like I don't even know how to word this, like little boy energy. Like I'm seeing a little boy handing his mum a sausage on bread to put tomato sauce on it. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Definitely young, like not quite adult yet, even though I'm sure he's over 18. It's like chocolate. I think I have a fair chance with Molly. You're so kind. It's like a childlike naivety in his eyes, which I love for him, but hate for him on this show. Being myself and just smiling and maybe telling a few dad jokes. <laughs> yeah, just spontaneous being a goof, so I think she might like that. Yeah, yeah. He seems nice. He seems very immature, but he seems nice. And there's not a spark there. Fair enough. I can't get Nick out of my head. He definitely ticks all the boxes. He's a big guy. He's a big guy. Oh, poor whatever his name is. He's a really good kisser. 
Oh, that's, this edit is horrible for this dude. We had a lot of fun and it was just good to get to know where each other stand and how we feel about each other for sure. Yeah, he seems out of his depth here, but a sweet boy. We're here at F-Boy Anonymous. Let's start by telling me who you are and why you're here. F-Boy Anonymous. Oh, it's been two days since I last had sex. But actually you've been here for three days. I know, but after a while, coconuts started to look pretty. I don't need to see any more of Limbro. Let's skip through that. <laughs> Where do they find these sculptures? Oh, is that Layla? Ricardo. Wait, that's not a fourth. That's a fourth girl. girl. And the Kama Sutra on the beach that Will was doing yesterday. Ricardo is on the tune with Layla. The bartender. <laughs> How old is Ricardo? This looks like a 40-year-old man that deals cocaine in Miami. I think I've incriminated myself now. I think he's trying to plant his seed out there. He's going for the fourth girl. He was after her, 100%. Don't know about that. A bit shady with that. <laughs> she does not look impressed. Yeah, we're going to go have an talk. Oh, we're going to talk, mate. I'm going to get drink first. Oh. That's right. All this about Vernon and his ex-girlfriend. Yes. You're going around telling the group of guys that Vernon broke up with his girlfriend to come to the island. So why did he get kicked off for that? That's what I still don't understand. Last night at the elimination about you dumping your missus. It's definitely a choice for a t-shirt. To come on this show true? No. Do you think I would apply for a show if I had a relationship? I would hope not, but... Exactly. Well, that's... Anyway, would that's stupid things for money? No. 100% not. He's so tense and so obviously fucking lying. <laughs> yeah, definitely did straight up lie, but <laughs> you got to do what you got to do. I'm not here to fuck around and fuck spiders, so I'm out here doing what i got to do. So... I look a bit nervous for the first time. I am time. nervous. Mm. <laughs> because, hey, because I'm actually liking you, so... Oh, he's so fucking nervous. He's going red too. If I didn't like you, I just... Cool chick. Yeah, I mean, what can I say? If I didn't like you, I just... Why is she floating with him right now? Alright, All right. All right. float cool, mate. But I'm glad we've fun. cleared this out the air because I've been stressing balls. Aww. What is this conversation? I've been lied to before by my cheating ex, so I'm treading carefully with him. And you're being lied to again, babe. <laughs> what? Plus... With Nick gone. Nick's still at Cabba. He's busy. What's happening? Yeah. Um, it's all good. So I actually want to get to know you for you. Because I gen I'm being genuine. Like, I actually I actually want to get to know you. Like, the reason I'm interested in you, if you want to know that you'll be interested in why I'm interested in you. It... What on earth? Is he just coming at her with a monologue? <laughs> what? No hello. No, oh, hi, how are you? No questions about her. Just being like, hey, yeah, I'm, I'm genuine. This is like AI attempting to convince a woman that he's a human and trustworthy. He's just walked in, he's like, hey, yeah, uh, I'm genuine and interested in you. And, <laughs> and if you, would you like to know why I am interested in you? What is, what is happening? Sure. Yeah. Go for it. I like the fact that, like, I always wanted to potentially, like, I don't know, be in a relationship with a nurse because I love the care and the respect that they have for people. And someone that cares about the what? He's come up to this woman and he said, I've always wanted to be with a nurse. She's not a nurse. Either he's just like so nervous. He's obviously an F boy. Like I feel like that is, we can all agree on that. But he's so nervous. For why? Very weird. Very, very weird. <laughs> about the things that you care about and the values actually makes me really attracted to you. And I know I haven't said that to you, but Smile, it's the sassiness, it's the it's the fact well it is. Oh, this is hard to watch. This is an alien trying to be a human being, but the only reference for human behaviour that it has is transcripts from pickup artist podcasts. This is weird. And I don't know, I know all these guys are scared about what happened at the beginning and I know that you're ruthless and I fucking love it. <laughs> like it's it's funny as shit and it's, I'm this is so creepy. Too, like, just in a funny way. Yeah. Has she said one word? And seems to think I'm his dream girl, but I'm not even <laughs> sure he's my guy. He also thinks he also thinks she's a nurse. This is so weird. I wouldn't even I'm like creeped out. Did he ask her a single question about herself or 
anything she's interested in or bothered to check what her occupation actually was. <laughs> Yeah. about to go down right now, okay? Who? 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 Oh, what's happening? I can actually, I can actually I have to, bro. Okay, Nico. Okay, Nico's got beef with Justin. He's about to stir the pot. I'm definitely ready to let all that out. Oh, well, you don't need to do all that. <laughs> you can just bring it up. Listen, I don't want you portraying me as a fucking shit stirrer, but no, I just... Don't come and sit down and, like, swear at her. Like, what are you doing? Justin said... Comments like I wouldn't even date them on the outside world. They're not even my type of women. What the fuck is he thinking? None of us are his type. If I'm not Justin's type and he's not interested in me, then I just want to get him off the island so I can focus on the guys that really want to get to know me. Okay, so pop off. This is and I like to look after my yeah. women. This yeah. is what I do. <sighs> When did having female relatives become a bargaining chip? <laughs> like, your proximity to women doesn't make you a better person. What the hell's going on? Nico, oh my god, why are these dudes just coming at Sophie so hard? Like, lower the aggression, just have a conversation. It's all good. I don't know when I said this stuff. Okay. Fuck this whole situation. He's been mixing up words. He's saying that his words have been remixed. Trust me. Well, she's a DJ. So if he doesn't own up to it, that's sus. Evie just keeps denying it, like that's shitty character. Honestly, I don't even care if Justin said that. I just care if he's lying to me. Exactly, that's... I think about you, I bloody dream about you. I have nightmares about you, for God's sake. Haven't they known each other for like, <laughs> like three days? Because of that, I'm, I'm going to choose to, to believe yeah. you and forgive you. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I completely and agree. And that's like my only chance I'm going to give you agree. this. I completely agree. Did he just forget saying that? Or is he like, like, why lie? Just at this point, just say that you said it changed your mind. That's allowed. Justin. Yeah. Justin. It's hard. It's time, it? it's time. How you going, brother? I don't know if you think I'm fucking talking shit or I must be tripping, but what you said was what you said, yeah? Should, should be able to agree on that. There's nothing wrong with Justin being like, yeah, I, at the start, none of you did catch my eye. Getting to know you, I've changed my mind. If that's, if that's what happened, just say it. And I ain't spinning words though. <laughs> You're definitely Because there's multiple words. people that know this shit. Okay, so where did you do it? And it's been filmed. <laughs> Nico, it's over, forget about it. All I'm saying is you can't be saying much it's over. about me because I'm it's only the spitting facts. The conversation's done, guys. Stop talking about it. I'm I just don't get why Justin would lie about it because it is eventually like the show will be released. It will come out. Weird thing to lie about. I got just trying to, to, try to stand over to me. Here. You're trying to stand over me. Do you want me to sit down? Raising your voice. Do you want me to sit down? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what makes me not believe him. It's been said in this fucking villa, mate. Okay. What's been said? I just went on my phone, got on TikTok. <laughs> Put the phone down, <laughs> and they're still arguing. I swear, God, whenever I look at you, you're always I'm, causing no, drama. Get I over just, it. You're over here yelling when we're it. just trying to connect with you. Guys, come on. Nico is sassy. Be careful, but you. But mate. nobody's allowed to speak right now except for me, and that's why I'm doing it. So. Everybody cares he's, here, and everybody knows. He's not actually making any sense anymore. He's not wrong. Justin did say that. That we can agree on. But if Sophie doesn't care, then it's kind of a non-issue. And now it's just like Nico's ego and Justin's. You're like, being a be fucking, fucking asshole, emotional. and you're not considering we can his emotions be all emotional. And honestly, Isaiah, it's I fucking fucking be the one crying too, but I don't him. do that. I hold myself. Oh, now I there's. Even made the effort to come and talk to me. Now there's. <laughs> now Ziara is popping off at Isaiah, and I think Nico is calling everyone else emotional when he's having an outburst. I can't tell if this is funny and I'm enjoying it or if it's giving me a headache. Isaiah hadn't even made the effort to come and talk to me at this mixer, but he comes and whisks Nico away to make sure that he's okay. He didn't even check in on me. Okay, Isaiah's in trouble, but why would he need to check in on her? What's happened to Ziara? Unless, again, they've cut out something substantial that, like, we're missing. Honestly, and it really fucking annoyed me. Like, who the fuck are you here for, me or Nico? Oh my god. You can have a problem with who someone's friends with and I think you can tell a lot about a person by the people that they're friends with. But everyone here has known each other for like two days. The who are you here for me or Nico is, it's a lot. It's a bit much. Pick fights, but if you want to talk shit, then at least back your Who is he yelling at? <laughs> who is he yelling at? He's just walking and bitching at the same time. Oh, elimination night already. Slay. Ladies, how are you feeling tonight? 
They do not look happy. <laughs> Nico is getting kicked out. I know it's probably against the rules oh. to break a oh, guy oh, she's... nice guy grotto, but the heart wants what the heart wants. She's taken Nick out of the grotto. Wait, he's staring pensively off into the ocean. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I like Nick, he seems alright. Yeah, I think potentially I let kind of what's happened to me in the past make me jump to a few conclusions about you that obviously were not right. He's nice. He's a nice guy. <laughs> okay, so he's back and that's allowed. He is a big boy. He's very tall. Oh. Hey Molly, Oh, and now Vernon is going to have... I don't but now I do, so... Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a throw. I mean, he's like six foot three, big sexy hunk of meat, so... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Sucks for Vernon. Who gets kicked out now? Like, does, does someone get kicked out in replacement of Nick? Me in trouble. Chuckles, I'm in danger. That is the biggest fucking ick I've ever, ever had to witness. That is, for that alone, he should be kicked off. I don't think any of these boys are up to scratch, <gasps> so, uh... Are you getting Nick? That's so... You're not sick. wrong. <laughs> One of them's actually keen on your girl. Is that right? <laughs> uh, are you nervous about it? I don't know, is he nervous about me? <laughs> oh my God. All right. His well. name's Vernon. Hey, Vernon. <laughs> His name's Vernon. Okay, who's getting kicked off? Who's getting nominated? Obviously, Justin and Nico. Who's in your bottom two? I actually don't know for Ziara. Probably... Isaiah. Oh, yeah, she's got the shits with Isaiah. She won't kick him off, though. And Simon. Simon's going, for sure. <laughs> oh, poor James. Ricardo. Ricardo's out. Easy. I was actually really gutted because I just had a really nice conversation with her and I, I really tried to show her my true self. Gentlemen. He didn't have a conversation with her. He spoke at her about what he wants and what he thinks she wants to hear. Okay, Nico's out, Ricardo's out, and the blonde curly-headed dude. They're all gonna get kicked off because she's not gonna kick Justin off. I ain't here to spin shit. Everybody behind me definitely heard what he said and it is what it is. So whether or not you believe me or not, I know that I'm here doing the right thing. Okay. And he can walk off knowing that he did ex exactly that. Did he need to have a big meltdown about it? No, but he did do exactly what he said he was gonna do. I'm just doing what I do. Great. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like, Nico, you're playing games. Like, you were here yesterday. Of course and I was. And you laughed when I said your name. Because I knew what was happening. So why do you think you deserve to be here? Why do I deserve yeah, to be Yeah, like here? after the way you speak to so many of these guys and like but us. But gave him the right to pipe up when it's not his tenth yeah. chance to talk. He's, he's very immature. He doesn't handle conflict well at all. Justin, I'm just really confused. I don't know what to believe here. I just can't be lied to. Just don't lie. But he's gonna keep lying. <laughs> Honestly, I just want Justin to admit it. I've always been a protector, provider, oh my God. a stand up for myself, but also for someone that I truly do care for. What? What is this monologue? All this crap that's going on the side. These two are the bitchiest, like, sassiest people on this show. I'm Why? Pot. I'm not here to just play games, I'm not here to be a child. I'm here to, I'm here to <laughs> Why are these guys so sassy? I would be pissed off if I was Nico, to be honest, because Justin is lying. Nico is correct. But how they've both handled it has somehow made Justin the good guy and Nico look bad. Isaiah, you were in my bottom two because... I think Isaiah's nice. You guys seem to be pretty close, so I'm kind of getting like F boy by association. I also feel like today, during the circus, you didn't even come and make sure that I was okay. You know, you just kind of, you know, took Nico away and made, you didn't even like come up to me today when I think I've made it like... Okay, like the, the F boy by association thing, I get. You are who you hang around, but the, the not checking in on her <laughs> during during like a conflict that had nothing to do with her that she was not involved in until she inserted herself and what Isaiah did do 
was go and defuse the situation and remove Nico, who is his friend, from the situation, is that not the right thing to do? I feel like you really came in here guns blazing and I don't know, I feel like you're just a little bit arrogant and I'm not really sure why you're here. Yeah, I mean, he's just obviously an F boy. You know, it's a situation I'm not really used to, but I am serious about you and I really do want to get to know you more and I just... He's giving me, it's giving Jake Paul and I don't know how else to describe it. James? I want to prep James. I think you're a really great guy. Thank you. I think you're an absolute goof and I love that about you. But ultimately, at the end of the day... He looks like he's going to cry. I'm just not sure if that connection is there with you. Oh, James. Yeah, came on here you're looking for love, so I hope it's still in here. But if it's not, I hope you all find love. Oh, dude. <sighs> oh, no. Okay, he's very... He's a very sensitive, lovely boy. He should not be on this show. He's too genuine. Like, he's, his feelings are very genuine. You can tell that. He shouldn't be on this show, poor dude. Today, you kind of listed off a bit of a checklist of things that you're looking for in a girl. Gorgeous eyes and a perfect smile and, and someone who specifically works in healthcare. <laughs> <laughs> on a bit of a pedestal before getting to know me. And she's not a nurse. I was just simply admiring the traits that I liked about you. He could be telling the truth, but it, uh, she's... Excuse me, Molly. Not a nurse. I think Ricardo has been trying to go for someone that's not really... Oh, now this one's dibby dobbing about Ricardo hitting on the bartender. ...with Layla, the bar staff, for the past few days, and we saw it today... Layla. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Where did they find this dude? Who is Ricardo? And I just think that, honestly, I don't think that's acceptable for you or for anyone. This is wild. Oh my God. Clay has really... <laughs> oh my God. What is going on with these two? Nico is leaving, I'm assuming. Nico. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Who are you saying goodbye to tonight? Obviously that dude. What? Whoa, that was a build-up and then a whisper. Molly, you welcomed Nick back to the resort. In order to do that, there will be oh, a double guys. elimination. <laughs> Come. Please. Okay, that makes now. sense. That is a lot to unpack. That makes sense, because you bring in one back, you're gonna get rid of two. Did they have to put them through all of this? before announcing that, because holy shit, they are not taking this lightly. Will you sacrifice Ricardo and James for Nick? Oh my God, these guys. Do it. He's so, he's so, he is such a sweetie pie. He is such a sweetie pie. He feels his emotions fully and openly and you should never apologize for feeling your emotions. And I think it's great that they're doing so on a TV show. But what I don't get is haven't all of them been here for like a few days. I struggle to relate to being somewhere for a few days and then just feeling this strongly about the people that you've known for days. How do you get this attached? I don't, I'm bewildered. <laughs> do it. I don't know about you, but she loves him. She likes him. Loves him. Likes him better. I'll, I'll go. <sighs> oh my God, man. What is happening? I choose you, Nick. Nick is just smiling in the corner. <laughs> is James okay now? What, what is James doing? James is on the Gold Coast. He hasn't posted since August 2023. Hope he's doing well. Hope he's doing well. Do you come here as a nice guy or an F-boy? Nico's an F-boy, surely. I came in here as an F-boy. But I always- Oh, she looks livid. <laughs> said he's still the truth and I stand by the truth. Thanks, Nico. Simon? Nice Obviously guy. an F boy. <laughs> you tell me. I've got bleached hair, two gold earrings, I have a gold chain, I'm six foot three, I'm ten, I'm jack, I'm twenty-three. Do you think I was a nice guy? 
Now enough for it. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's owning it, I guess. Ricardo. Are you a nice guy? I don't know with Ricardo anymore. I came on this show as an F boy. What? <laughs> what? I thought that at the start with the bartender and then after that little like after everything we've seen I was like okay maybe not now I'm shocked and I think you deserve the best so thank you <laughs> Sophie as Boy. Sophie is gagged. <laughs> Sophie could not be leaning further in her chair. She is as bewildered as I am. You deserve the best, so thank you for this opportunity. She looks a little bit like Gollum, just in the posture. James? James is obviously a nice guy. What did you come here as? Yeah, nice guy. James. He is just a little sweetie pie, honestly. We love James. I know we don't usually do this, but can we do a group hug before we go? Okay, you've taken it too far, James. <laughs> and what do you mean we don't usually do this? Again, have you not been here for like two fucking days? You don't know what they usually do. Oh no, can we go home? <laughs> oh look, I'm happy he got his hug. But Abby is so fucking funny. He's been here two nights. Come on, guys, let's have a big here since fucking eight o'clock in the morning. They're all fucking exhausted. They're gonna have a I'm a bit speechless at that. I don't even know what just happened in the past 40 minutes. Thanks for sticking around this long. If you have stuck around this long, give this video a like, leave a comment, share it with your mates. Little things like that really do help a ton. I hope you're having a great week and I will see you in the next one.